Hi, I'm Maria Ingold. I'm here at Connected Media IP at NAB 2018. And joining me is Margaret Sager. She is the Vice President of uh, America's Enterprise for PCCW Global. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So how are you finding the NAB show? Always interesting. Uh, it's exciting to see all the changes in the industry, whether that's from a network or IP perspective, or all the new technologies that are being rolled out. So it's a good show. Excellent, wonderful. So tell me about PCCW Global, uh -huh. and tell me about your global television network. Yes, yes. Th thank you. Which you have an abbreviation for which is GTVN, <laughs> yeah. yes. So GTVN is what we refer to it as, so the Global TV Network. Um, PCCW Global is part of HKT, so Hong Kong Telecom, so our headquarters are in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and we're part of the international arm of the organization. So we cover 150 countries in traditional delivery of whether it's satellite, IP, or fiber. Mm -hmm. The media sector kind of sits on top of that where you enable your infrastructure to be global TV network. So it just layers on top of what we already do for many other verticals. So specific for the Americas region, we work with American um, Americas broadcasters and media companies, as well as now with gaming and esports organizations when it comes to using this global network and still maintaining that high level of availability and reduced latency. Uh, wherever it's needed. Oh, that's good, okay. Mm -hmm. So how has the GTVN environment changed? It has changed quite a bit over the last few years. Uh, the biggest hurdle really was once you get off our network and you go to the event, the stadium, or wherever it might be, the venue, mm -hmm. is that, that lack of infrastructure. So that's kind of what we've always struggled with. But IP is coming so fast, mm -hmm. or mobile or cellular, that now we have a better way to deliver direct to stadiums via the partners that we've made, as well as the continued expansion. So we're in LATAM now as well. We see big growth in Africa, Middle East area. So seeing the global market change as well as the enhancements in the industry, um, it, it continues to advance what we can do and where we can do it. You mentioned IP, what has been the impact on the global television network? Yeah, so it's always been fiber delivery, which yeah. is very much a direct point A to B scenario. Mm -hmm. Because of the live TV and the streaming requirements, you can't really rely on IP because of the jitter and packet drops, mm -hmm. but that's changing. So now there's more options where we can enable the GTVN network, the global TV network, with IP options as well as cloud options. So seeing all this blend together brings it to a whole new level. Great. What are you showcasing here at the show? We're focusing on just that indeed, where we do the edge delivery with one of our partners, um, say to stadiums and using IP to connect back to the core network infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So that's one element you'll see. As well as the, the sheer coverage we have globally. So that's another element you'll see. As well as highlighting our more emerging technologies that cater to the esports, the gaming environment, or OTT platforms. So there's various elements with in that product portfolio that we can demonstrate while we're here. Wonderful. So what's going to be next for you in 2018? It's going to be exciting. <laughs> so <laughs> we acquired a company the end of last year called Console Connect. Okay. And that really will take our organization as a whole to the next level on a software defined um, network level. So what that really means is that a broadcaster can just log in and make changes, update, make route changes, wherever in the world they need it, mm -hmm. as well as direct access to cloud providers as more and more of their programming might sit in the cloud. Um, so just making it more efficient, more scalable, and a wider community available to these broadcasters. So we're very, very excited about it. We're rolling it out. Uh, we just went live this past week with oh, the wow. console connect on our network to the enterprise market, and then we look to add it to the media broadcast sector late this year, early next year, so we're really excited about that movement. Well, that sounds very exciting. I look forward to seeing what's happening when we talk again next year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, and so then we get the story of how we've rolled it out and how it really has enabled uh, broadcasters to be more efficient, to have options available to them that would just never existed prior. That sounds wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.